What's going on guys? So you're going to find out how good a team of 2011 NHL draft players would be. I actually did a video last week redoing the 2011 draft and I didn't realize just how stacked it was. If you guys missed that one, go check it out. But tons of good players in that draft. Lots of good late round steals as well. Now that draft took place in Minnesota, so I figured why not settle with the Minnesota Wild here. Hardly ever do we actually go in the central division for one of these sims. Obviously already have the custom team made. It is the Minnesota draft team. So try to use like the Minnesota colors there with the NHL logo. Again, stacked draft. You can see top players at the bottom, Kucherov, Huberto, and John Gibson. As I already mentioned, this team is stacked. As you can see here, 94 overall, uh, by far the best team in the Central, the West, and the entire NHL. Next closest team, there's Tampa, 91 overall. So I feel like pending some sort of disaster, we should be making the playoffs, at which point, obviously, who knows what's going to happen. And as you guys will show what the roster is looking like, obviously no surprise here, Team Stats is champion again. This draft was pretty stacked. So looking at the lines here, you can see we got Huberdeau, Kachuri, and Kucherov on the first line. Pretty nasty. Goudreau, Shifley, and Landeskog on the second, getting a plus three, so they should just go off this year. Miller, Nude, and Zabinijet on the third. Nasty third line. Even the fourth line there, we got Raquel, Trocek, and Carlson. Like, uh, just an insane forward group. Now defensively, not as good, but we're getting some crazy chemistry. Manson and Hamilton on the top pair in a plus five. So basically gonna be playing like two nineties. Uh Clefbaum and Larson actually reunited here, which is pretty cool. And then Edmondson and Brody on the bottom pair, they're getting a plus three. Goaltending wise as well, we're solid. Gibson's a starter, one of the best, you know, goalies in the league. Same goes for Bennington. So if one's having an off night, sub the other one in. We should have no worries in net. Um also two special teams are pretty nice. First unit there, plus three. Absolutely stacked. Second unit solid two. I think we're actually getting pretty much positive everywhere, aside from a couple of zeros. So I really like the look of this team. For sure we're gonna be in the playoffs, and I feel like we really should win the Stanley Cup. Also, too, I actually have a bunch of extra players in the AHL. So top six here, we got Saj, Strom, Palat, Pajo, Dano, and Dezingle, all just barely to make the NHL team. Defensively as well, top four here. Uh Bullyu, Murphy, DeMello, Alexiak, all guys drafted in 2011. Same goes for our goalies, Laurent Brassois, Anton Forsberg also. 2011 draft picks so kind of cool actually because they're all 2011 draft picks like everybody's 26 so this is like their last year to grow except for i think josh manson i saw somehow is 27 but other than that this is all their last year to grow and this will definitely be a good one i feel like this team really should go off also to actually show you guys the captaincy here nothing too crazy basically just did the top three picks in a redraft so kucherov there would be number one he's got the c uh Kutray, shifley two and three both wearing the a's um, also here, I'll actually show you guys offense, defense, and goaltending ratings with the jerseys. The jerseys aren't anything crazy, just NHL logo, Minnesota Wild colors, 100 offense. Yeah, our offense is stacked. 89D there and 92 goaltending. All right, there's a look at the away, the home, and the alternate. Alternate's actually probably my favorite. It's like that off-white sort of beige color. Um, again, you know, nothing too crazy there. So we get started with the sim. Again, high hopes for this team. Let's see how they play. So we just had our first big trade, guys. Florida trading Owen Tippett and a first round pick to Calgary for Eric Gustafson and Tarek Ryan. Honestly, I feel like they probably gave a bit too much here, like a top prospect and a first rounder, but uh, we'll see if it works out for them. We got about three weeks here till the deadline. Very good record right now, 35, 16, and one, currently first in the division. So at the deadline here, we're 41, 18, and two, playing super well. Unfortunately, Dallas is playing really good too. I don't know if you guys saw it, but they're actually first in the division. I think they have a one point lead on us. Yeah, they have 85 points. We have 84. Now, we actually do have a game in hand, so maybe we can pass them. That's crazy, though, just how good the Stars are doing. Lightning also are tied with us, so even with our stack team, there's a couple teams right there. Kucherov playing really well, 74 points in 61 games. Obviously, love to see that, so hopefully this team can keep it up. And if we see the Stars in the playoffs, I don't know what's going to happen. So at the end of the season now, here, guys, with a 57-22-3 record. We crushed it after the deadline. I think we had, like, a nine-game win streak at one point. Uh, so what is that? Like, 117 points, pretty sure. I feel like we definitely had to win the Western Conference. We won our division for sure. Maybe even the President's Trophy. Kucherov there, 96 points, 82 games. So four shy of 100. Would have been nice if he hit that, but obviously we're not going to complain. Curious too how like that second line did with all the chemistry boosts. Kubido, 91. Shifley, 78. Uh, Drew there, pretty solid. Kuchere, 59. Um, who else was on that line? Landis Cog. How Landis Cog didn't do very good. 38 points. It's pretty surprising, honestly, playing with really good players on the second line and getting a plus three bonus, but... Uh, the top players played well, especially Dougie Hamilton there as a D-man, 56 points. Uh, we really like to see that. Take a look at the goalies now. So Gibson here, solid numbers, 0.902 at 2.76. Bennington there, also really good, slightly better stats. Obviously, if he's getting good matchups, he's a starting goaltender. So he should be putting up good numbers. Uh, I'll take a look at the AHL team here too, see how those NHL guys did. So saw it at over a point per game. Zingle was close. Pajot, Stromlot, 60 plus. Dano, 58. Palat, 57. So they're close. Um, defensively, Bullyu 40, not too bad. Take a look at those goalies as well. Brassois, 
Not a great save percentage, 0.885. They do have a winning record though. Uh, Forsberg's just negative, also under 0.9. Kind of surprised by that. Like, <laughs> this is half an NHL team. Not a good NHL team, but still half an NHL team. I thought they'd be playing better than that. Uh, so we'll take a look here and see if Kucherov won the Art Ross. Probably not with 96. McKinnon, 113. That's nuts. OB 109, 57 points. Uh, he's actually he's on the first page though, just barely. And next, I want to see if we did win the President's Trophy. I feel like 117 points. You have a pretty good chance. And we did. Okay, Dallas, second best. So our division stacked. 113, four behind us. Boston, Tampa, Toronto, the usual suspects there. I'll take a look and see quickly who finished last in the league. I'm gonna guess Detroit. Usually a pretty good bet. No, it's actually Chicago. Very surprising to see that. So the first round here, guys, up against the National Predators. I feel like <laughs> should be the heavy favorites here. So first two games at home in Minnesota. Win the first one 5-0. We actually lose the second 6-3. That's a bit rough. Heading to Nashville now. Come on, we gotta get back in the win column 11-3. Okay, the boys went off there. So we just have to win one of the next three games. I feel like, you know, we should be able to pull that off. And there we go. So we actually beat them in five. I think our AHL team's in the playoffs as well. And they are. They're playing the Ice Hogs there. So obviously... We'll kind of keep an eye on that, see how they do. So if Dallas won, we're going to have a crazy second. Yeah, okay, so we're playing Dallas in the second round. Literally the two best teams in the NHL playing in the second round. I That's the reason I don't like this current playoff format. They need to switch something up. So here we go. First two games, home ice advantage, 4-0. Another shutout first game, 7-4. If we sweep the second best team in the NHL, we're looking pretty good. And we do. Wow, 5-2 win, a 7-0 win the fourth game. Shut them out. Two of four games, so Gibson's hot right now. Again, like this team's insane. The only team I was worried about was Dallas because they just having such a good season. Maybe Tampa Bay if we see them in the uh, Stanley Cup final. Got to get through Edmonton first here in the conference final. McDavid, can we take him out? 4 3, 3 0. <laughs> we are rolling right now in the playoffs. Gibson's so so good in the playoffs, always in the sim, if Anaheim actually, you know, ever makes it. So they did beat us third game 3 1. We got back the win column there, game four. Just need one more win. There we go. So beat in five. And it's the Maple Leafs. Alrighty. So Maple Leafs. Stanley Cup final. 12 and 2 so far in the playoffs. Uh, where are they? They are 13 and 9. They actually beat us game two. That's alright though. We, I think game two might be our worst game so far this playoffs. 4 3, 4 2. Wow. Okay. So they're holding us, you know, close. 2 2 series. Um, wow. I wanted to pause and like send this game in case we won game five. We lost 6 3. Luckily, win game six. So, game seven, Stanley Cup final against the Maple Leafs. They're going off against the 2011 draft team. I mentioned this actually in my like redraft video, but 2011 draft was not good for the Maple Leafs. They traded up to draft Tyler Biggs, who never played a game in the NHL, and the picks they gave to Anaheim turned into Raquel and Gibson. Obviously, both, you know, part of our team, big parts of Anaheim. Uh, I think their other first rounder was Stuart Percy. Uh, they also traded a pick to Anaheim in like the sixth round, which turned to Josh Manson. So, the Leafs are looking for some revenge here against the 2011 draft team. Hopefully, though, we can hold them off. Game seven, do or die. First period. Wow, two nothing. The Leafs, they want it. They might want it more than us. Come on, big second period. There we go, Huberto Kucherov. So let's just resume here and see what happens. Third period, all tied up. This is gonna be good. Shots are pretty much even. Nothing so far in the first five-ish minutes. About halfway through, Kucherov gets another one. Let's go. I mean, we were, we were down two nothing. Three unanswered. We're looking pretty good here. Hopefully Gibson can just be a wall in net the last five minutes here. That was actually a power play from Kucherov. Two minutes to, are you kidding me, Kapanen? Wow, two minutes left, he's gonna force OT. So it's 20 minute periods, I'm not gonna like watch it because here forever and William Carlson, overtime, game seven, Stanley Cup winner. Like you can't write it better than that, that's awesome. I was worried there when we threw up 2-0, I was like, are we seriously gonna lose to the Maple Leafs with essentially an all-star team? We held on, so there we go, Minnesota draft team, Stanley Cup champions. And look at this, Ottawa picking first overall, gonna get Alexi Lafreniere. New Jersey jumps up to number two with the Arizona pick. I'm gonna feel so bad for Arizona fans if they gave up a lottery pick to get Taylor Hall. Uh, Goudreau there, 27 points, 21 games in the playoffs, so he went off, that's good to see. Um, also too, I actually wanted to show you guys AHL team, totally forgot about them as, you know, I was just so invested in the NHL playoffs, but playoff tree there, Maple Leafs, best of seven with Tampa, then Boston. And then Washington, they beat in six. They definitely had a much tougher road to the conference final against Tampa and Boston than Washington did against Carolina and Florida. HL here, I totally forgot to look at how our team did. We actually lost in the first round in five to Ice Hogs, so kind of sucks. But again, HL team doesn't matter too much. Although, I don't know how that team first round exit again with all those NHL players. So Goudreau, 27. Kucherov, 26. It's good to see. Landis Cog actually did a lot better in the playoffs, almost a point per game. 
uh, where were Gibson's stats like 16 and 5.916, 2.48. He did have four shutouts. He was playing really well. Taking a look at the awards next here, we know he won the Stanley Cup, Crescent's Trophy, Clarence's Camp. We cleaned up. Individual awards though, McKinnon, Garth, the Art Ross, and the Hearts. Hedman, James, Norris, McKinnon, Lee, Bing, McCarr, Calder, so Colorado got quite a bit. Who drove that to Conn Smythe? I figured it was either him or Gibson. Vashlovsky, Vesna, and William Jennings. Weber, Bill Masterton, you don't see that too often. Sharks coach actually got Jack Adams. I saw they made the playoffs. O'Reilly, Selke again. McKinnon, Ted Lindsay. Obi, then Risha Shard. So nothing too crazy. AHL, take a quick look at. Our regular season wasn't even that great. We didn't even get a trophy. Saad, though, did the most points in the AHL, so that's good. MVP. Zeus actually had the most goals. New Hook, outstanding rookie. Do we get any others here? Pajot, sportsmanship. I have no idea how you won it, but I'd love to see it. And that's it. So, I mean... I feel like pretty good year all in all. Definitely took home some hardware, won the cup, won the presidents. Uh, the team, you know, did what we expected them to do. So can't ask for much more than that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.